Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise. Let's get that mouse out of the way, shall we? Uh, we just got an award and actually leveled up right to start because Swananya has decided to visit. Now, I believe we need two sandwiches. Yes, we're currently working on that, but we're just waiting for... Uh, what's his name? Max, Wally, Willy, Waldo. That dude to turn up and do his bloody job. Today, we have several requirements. We're gonna breed our Twinger Snaps still. I think we're on. I think we're doing pretty well. I think we're somewhere near the end of that. Maybe a couple more left to go still. And we have to get the variants for those. That's gonna help us get four heads, as we've talked about. We're gonna. I, I thought about this before. If you'll remember the Bonboon, the Sour Bonboon, who isn't visiting right now, we'll have to check what they need. But you'll remember the Sour Bonboon required for us to take it to be defeated by a member of the Serpent family. So when we get the four heads. We can use that to uh, defeat the Bomboon and get a Bomboon into our garden. We're going to try to get the Swanana. We're going to try to breed the Swanana and the pigs. And... Um, get the flying piggies, which I've remembered all about. Uh, we're going to try to get some Sandy Boys as well. There's actually quite a lot going on right now. All that said, so I was uh, looking into... I was doing some research. I mentioned in the last video, one of the problems I have with the game is that it seems that a lot of the stuff is very kind of purposefully obscured. As in, it's very hard to, see, to know what you're meant to do, basically. So, I'm talking particularly in evolutions and variants and stuff like that. They all feel very, um... I'm still open. He's crackling again. Come in and take the weight of chocolate coins off your shoulders. They all feel sometimes very um, ethereal, very difficult to figure out without, you know, a guide or without using the internet. And, you know, if possible, I would like to do it without using the interwebs. Um, so I googled it just to find out how do people figure this stuff out? Like, literally, how do people find evolutions? How do people find variants? How do people do all that stuff? And what are you doing? Swanana, come here! <laughs> I just want to see if you've eaten the other sandwich because it's disappeared, so if you haven't, I'm in trouble. Make my life very difficult here. No, you just. No, oh, you. you uh. Come here! <laughs> Thank you, right, good stuff. Um, so I really just wanted to see how other people did it. And apparently, Leafos will every now and again give you a suggestion, uh, but she often lies and she's not particularly useful. And really, people just said no, you just. You have to brute force your way through, basically, and that way that most people find out is via the internet and trading information, and I think that was kind of part of, uh, oh sweet, yum yum yum. <laughs> we got a swanana. I'm going to put down some dirt by the way, uh, some grass, because we no longer need this very dirty, horrible looking park. It's kind of unacceptable. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second. So yeah, people just brute force it, and I think part of the reason Rare did it like that was to kind of have that like old school feeling where you know people discover things and they share information with their friends and online and kind of create a community about it which is fine but if you had no internet connection i think it would be near impossible or at least it would take an incredibly long time to figure out everything in this game um so you know saying all that i'm not going to i'm not going to feel bad about googling certain evolutions and stuff anymore if we can figure things out on our own we'll definitely do that but Things like the evolutions in particular, which are, some of them are just stupidly obscure, and the variants, I'm not going to feel bad about searching for those. Just because it seems to be the way the game was designed, I really don't know how else to put it. Now, that said, we were talking in the last video about the, um, the Hoggart, and I was trying to come up with theories as to how you would make said Hoggart. Apparently, it's quite easy to do, and it's something we can do with the pig. It is indeed a pig evolution. We just need, um, a cheesecake. Now you'll remember, I kind of had this idea of turning the milk into um, into coffee, and that didn't work. But when we did it, it turned into cheese. I, what, what I forgot is that you can actually double your um, your tinkering. So what we can do is we can tinker milk into cheese, and then we can tinker cheese into cheesecake. And that will make cheesecake, and we feed that to the pig, and it turns it into a hoggart. But this kind of proves my point. Why would anyone think of that? <laughs> it's not it's not yogurt. You know, there's no link in the name. 
uh, pigs aren't well known for eating cheesecake, as far as I'm aware. Like, uh, why would you think to feed cheesecake to a pig to turn it into a warthog? Like, why? Am I missing something? I don't think I am. And that's my problem. Um, <clears throat> a lot of the solutions just require sheer brute force, and I don't think that's a particularly effective game mechanism. So, and that's kind of the reason why I'm not going to feel bad about this. So I've gone ahead, I've got a whole list of the evolutions, because it's kind of important to stay on top of them. Because, um, if you think about it, the, the logical thing to do then, given this new approach, is to breed the pigs, which we have to do anyway. And then, um, bear with me. <laughs> breed the pigs and then once we've got Master Romancer for the pigs, turn them all into hoggets and then we only need to breed them once and we've got Master Romancer for the hoggets as well. So that's what we're going to do for all the evolutions, basically. We have missed out on one of those already. We didn't do it with the toads? Wait, did we breed the toads? We did, because we've got the weed Tusky Boy. So we should have done that with the toads as well. We should have turned them all into lacquer toads. That would have been a, a smart thing to do. But that's what we'll, uh, we'll do going forward. Okay, I think you're all pretty much caught up now. <laughs> Oh, it's a peafowl! A peckin' mix! Like, pick and mix, but... Oh no, is that okay? Swananas clearly think they are the most glamorous of all the birds. Well, here comes a peckin' mix to ruin their... Oh, whoops, it is. Uh, peck and mix was not in the last game, so that's very exciting. I always get excited when there's a, a new piñata I've never seen before. Does make my life actually more difficult in some ways, but that's okay. <laughs> Come on, Twingers. Time to have sex. Right, so, speaking of Twingers, we need to do a couple things in aid of um, getting their variants. Just gonna hop into the village for a second. We need a Snapdragon Seed. Good morning. Can I interest you in something seedy? Oh, no, I don't mean like that. Big ol' flirt. Sad though, it's just because no one flirts with me in real life, so I have to... <laughs> I'm just looking for it in freaking Viva Piñata. Uh, life, eh? There's... Oh, it's a seed, I don't need to plant it. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, so just place that. And we need a Thanks. bottle of medicine. So again, I, I'm not going to talk about it anymore after this, but this is kind of what I mean. There's no reason why a bottle of medicine in particular would be the thing you need for the Twinger Snap. It is literally just a random selection of items, essentially. Like usually a seed, usually a converted item, and then a fully grown plant. It tends to be a sort of triple combo like that. And I was looking at people online who, they found them all out for themselves, I'll give them credit, but the way they found out was feeding literally every single... Is it? Yeah. Literally every single different item in the game to a piñata until it did the variants, which just sounds like utter madness to me. Absolute goddamn madness. Oh, no, not Willy. No Willy for me, thank you. We need Bart. That's his name. Good old Bart. Yes, what? What is it? Mark up the goods. Mark up the goods. You're interested to my care. Oh, that's a very weird looking piñata. Again, my intent to say Pokemon is <laughs> hard to stop, it really is. That's cool. <clears throat> Bloody Nora. God looks so much nicer with the grass back, it really does. We're gonna have to change that up again in the future, but not for a while. One, two, three, four. got it. Wait, what did the orange ones do again? I actually can't remember. Oopsie daisy. What do the orange ones do again? Um. Oh, they're sneaky ones, aren't they? Where you have to sneak past them to not activate them. I can't say they've really been an issue at this point. Okay. Was that three or four? I have no idea. Let them do their thing. Um. <clears throat> Bloody Nora. Oi! Diggalings. Look, that's, I've built you a lovely path. Why aren't you using it? Also, why do I have ray Oh, I've got ray ants everywhere because of the... Um, <laughs> just very confused for a second why I've got this horde of ants hoarding around my garden. It's because we need them for the, uh, the arachnid. Yeah, I apologise about the sound. I don't know what's going on. It might just be because my internet's just not feeling good at the moment. Um, you may have noticed if you were paying attention, we did have like a... A worldwide internet outage fairly recently. 
Oh, I think it was like a UK thing, primarily, but, um... Oh, I know it hit me hard for you in the UK, anyway. Uh, All because of DNS lookup stuff. Uh, basically, like, one of the internet provider... Not providers, but one of the people who governs how websites work, essentially, and controls how DNSs look up. Oh, it's not. Um, they just made, like, a little error in their code, essentially. There's so many raisins. Come on, Bart, you can do it, buddy. Just gotta get through the 25 billion pinatas in the way. Oh, yeah, they just made like a tiny little error in an update, and it, that just took down the internet because they're responsible for like 30,000 websites or something. And it just meant you couldn't look up those websites anymore. Or, you know, servers in general, like Spotify section went down for me, so. Oh, cool. Back to normal. Keep a little bit of icy in there, just for hell of it. Let's get some medicine. For you. Let's kill this. Wait, I tap it, don't I? No, I need to kill it. Oh god, the noise! The crackle-lackle! Might reset it in a little bit, see if it helps. Me. If you think about it, it kind of sounds like they're super um, self-involved, the Razans. So they just kind of walk around going, me. <laughs> Why can't I pick this up? Out of curiosity. <laughs> I literally can't pick the thing up. Why not? What? What's going on? Dar -dar. All right, who's that then? Coco Dial. Oh, right, yeah. So I was talking um, as well about the the Palmadillo, and we were going to put the sand down to try and attract one. The Palmadillo is an evolution as well. So, like I said, I know the evolutions now and how to get them, um, which is a shame, but it is what it is. You have to f get a fudge hog and feed it a coconut, which I guess is one of the ones that verges on making sense because a Palmadillo and a fudge hog look vaguely similar and. Obviously, a pomodoro's got a big uh, um, protected back, which I guess is similar to a coconut somehow, you know? I, I can kind of see it, you know? It's, it's not outside of the realm of possibility, that one. Go on, Twingers. It's sexy time. What is going on with this bloody... I cannot figure this out. Why is this being so weird? I'm gonna get rid of the fence and see if that helps. What is go what? All right, I'm just gonna have to destroy the fence and then um, we'll go from there. One, two, three, four. We are about to have one hatch. I think I've made a mistake. I think I should have waited for the hatch. Oh no, no, we did a three last time. It wasn't a four. Wait, no, we did a four. I have no idea. <laughs> this is quite a, a tricky level. It must be said. I'll be back in a minute, pal. Don't you worry about it. No, nope, go away. I think we needed one more. I have no idea, though. We'll just have to... I don't think anything's going to hurt my egg anyway. It seems unlikely. That's what I said the last time. So on the list as well is breeding Swanana. You need a diamond choker, more water, and a house, and maybe something else. I think there's a requirement to have your garden be worth um, a certain value, which is always one of the easier ones to pull off, really. Because I'm pretty sure pinatas count towards them. Yum, yum, yum! Yeah. They make the worst noises and the best noises. I don't know. I kind of go back and forth in how I feel about them. <laughs> They're obnoxious, but you know, I remember them. <laughs> it's kind of like the um, Albertosaurus in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, where it screams and it's a terrifying, awful noise. Where's my flower head gone? Well, 
Wait, what? Where's my flower head? What kind of scam are you guys running? Right, I'm gonna plant another one over here. Hopefully I can pick this one up, I guess. Something else that ate my flower head. Uh, welcome for... V oh my god. <laughs> Viva Pinata Trap, right? My god! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Again, this is kind of what I mean. This is a nice idea, being able to access the seed from here. But when you start to do it, you realise how terribly inefficient it is. I should have just gone left, but... Oh, I didn't I can, I can cycle between my uh, pinatas. That's cool. Right, we have to keep an eye on this. This will grow very, very quickly. I need another romance suite. Yeah. Only because I messed up. I'm gonna let this egg hatch first, and then we'll we'll go for it again. Look how quick that was. That's nuts. Absolutely no time at all. Weeds, man. Like imagine I went AFK for five minutes and I left these weeds here. It would just spread like crazy. Okay. Right, at least I can pick it up this time. That was a very weird book. I know you're sleeping, buddy, but I just need you to do this for me, okay? Nummy noms. Nummy noms. No. Yes. No. Yes. Thinking about it. Considering it. Hey, there we go. Cool. That is all the Twinger Snap variants. Right. So I need a romance suite. Are we all? Hello. Chocolate, Chocolate cash melting in your pocket. pocket. I'll, I'll take it. it. I'm not fussy. That's the amount of times I've heard you say every single line costs a lot is it's it's just far too much. It really is. Oh no. What's it this time? Oh, it's a bloody wolf. What do you need again? Hoggets. Yeah, it'd be cool to work on that. If anything, just so I don't have to deal with the bloody... <laughs> like, if I could deal with less sour piñatas, that would be great. I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot on my list. I feel like um, we were kind of sort of struggling for things to do. I mean, there's always tons of things to do, but I wasn't sure what my direction was, and now I've got like too much direction. If anything, the list is fairly humongous. We're gonna do the Twinker Snaps now, though. Yeah, yeah, yum yum yum. We're gonna do the Twinker Snaps now. I'm still trying to get a bloody Arachnid. They've decided to just not turn up at all. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, I guess I've got a twing snap in here, right? Have we locked it here? I don't think we have. Oh, I like this one. Oh, adorable! Do it again. Oh, that's super cute. Oh. <laughs> I think one of those has a romance symbol, so we'll just wait for that one to pop back up. We'll romance those, that's going to give us our egg. We're going to do the smack thing, because we don't need a wild card for a Twinger Snap. We've already done that. And hopefully we get twins as well. Then we're going to sell those off. We can... Oh, wait, we're not, we're not going to sell those off. We need those for the Bomboon. Let's have a look at that right now, because we're not far away from this. Uh, this might be a better way to do it than Residence. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, because it's um, alphabetical as well. Amazing. But where's Bomboon? Oh, maybe it's under Sour? Could be under Sour. Yeah. Appear, level 34, level 35. So I just need to wait. And then we need to beat it up with one of our Syrupants. And that's how we uh, get a Bomboon. It was the same in the last game. Basically. Hello, little baby! Seriously, well, I, I've got a horrible feeling that a Rocknid is going to be the new Squazzle. In that it just never turns up for some reason, you know? And I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting for something that'll never happen. That's all that's going on. I'm going to get a little bit more water. I think the next plan is pigs, swananas, 
whatever the pig bird is called. I can't remember the name. And um, hoggets. Because that's four species right there that we can get. The warthog, the pig, the swanana, and the, the, um, the flying pig. That's pretty cool, actually. And they all link together really nicely, so. Just getting a bit more water for our swanana. How are we doing? Nearly. <laughs> oh no. I'm just trying to put it in. Oh. Sorry, digglings. You wake up and there's a giant shovel just smacking your. No! No! Look, I love you, Sparrowmint, but. Spearmint, come here. No. That. <laughs> Oh, wait, Razor's getting hunted? Is there an Arachnid? Oh, there is an Arachnid! Awesome, finally! It just needs to eat two, so I'm gonna let it do its thing. I already got rid of my wild card, so I don't mind which one it eats, in theory. Okay, complaining about things works. Good to know. <laughs> That's all I had to do. Oh, I bet a million pounds will never visit my house. Oh, what was that? There's a sour somewhere. They're a pain in the ass, the sours, honestly. Like, I like it as a mechanic, don't get me wrong. But, um, they are a pain. Uh, right, this is the one. We need to get all of them, so we need a root. Uh, oh, that middle bit is disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. I think I need to go up and then back down. Left, through the middle. This whole root is disgusting. Look at this one. This is nuts. Right, we're going to go up, grab that, down through the middle, on the lower side, up and grab those two, back down, left, grab that, up, down, oh my god, this is sickening. I've got, I've got a plan in mind. Am I too close? Ah, no momentum. Okay, I'm already going far too scared. <laughs> come on! It's hard to tell where the actual body is on this thing. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be tough. Keep in mind, when in international waters, all the races are equal. No, I need to pay attention. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We go right. We go left. We go down. Everyone has a good time. <laughs> we go left. Fuck off. <laughs> Nonsense. I think I could have left this one, I'm not sure. Okay, nice and slow. No, it was going really well. I thought I was. I thought I got past that. I didn't need to risk it. Okay, well, I'm gonna just go basically. Yeah, this is actually a slightly nicer route, I would say. Oh, the lag and the crunching doesn't help though. Come on, game. Uh, do I want to change this up? Yeah, I think I'd grab this top one if I just get the timing right. Yeah! That was good. Yeah, I like this route. This is, this is my favourite of the starting positions so far. Woo! Okay, slow it down, slow it down. Because if you wake that one up, you're not going anywhere, you know? Alright, that one's asleep. I don't need to panic about it. Just don't touch it. Get out of the way, text box. Okay, we're nearly there. We are very nearly there. Get out the fucking way! <laughs> way! That was good. Oh, I didn't get twin. I really don't know how you get twin. Maybe you have to do one more to get twin bonus as well. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the swearing. Oh my god, though. So annoying. Raise aunt, you wanna come over here? Come pick come pick a fight with the Arachnid. How's that for a plan? Don't leave. Please don't leave me. I'm so lonely.
I just want to see those beautiful words. A pinata is being hunted. Alright, if I sell the Swedes, I'll stop eating them. <laughs> That'll be better for me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Turn around. Hey, sweet. Pinata's ill. Oh no. Oh no, I clicked off. What? Who's ill? I don't know if there's a way to check. Um, let's have a little scout around. <gasps> oh, Maka! Oh, buddy! What's wrong? Okay, we just got a a rock nid, which is awesome. But I kind of need to pay attention to the egg, you know. I think we got a rock nid. Doesn't seem to have happened yet. I'm gonna put it over here. Remember, we're looking for the three jumps. And then after the big jump, we give it a good old smack. <sighs> and then we're going to romance him again. I think. Go on, Patches. Sort them out, buddy. My poor Makaraka Raka 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 Please don't crush the egg when I'm doing this. He's coming to check on the baby, that's all. Actually, might be. It is actually legitimately coming to check on the baby. This is all very distracting what's going on here. Oh, it's like they're coming to watch the hatching. It's kind of adorable. Wait for it. Wait for it. It doesn't half make me nervous. Wait for it. Wait for it, come on, egg. Because it knows I'm watching it. A watched egg never bounces, as they say. It's a well known saying. Aww, don't fight with yourselves, you numpty. I'm getting very distracted by watching what's going on in the rest of the garden. It's taking ages, man. <laughs> Some serious infighting going on here. See, dust get out of the way. Monster. I feel like it should have hatched by now. Am I crazy? Eh. Eh. <laughs> I'm just wondering if maybe it was on the dirt and that was having an effect. I don't know. It feels like it's taking ages. Maybe it's because it's a wild card forehead. Maybe it's just because it's a it is a high level pinata. You know, it's our highest. Oh, there we go. Smack. Hooray! Foreheads. Cool. Look at it. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And I guess the you can see some of them have got horns. The two little ones have a crest. This one at the back has horns. Two of them have got horns, two of them have got a crest. What an absolute beast. Your gardening is right, you are my... Uh, I'm just going to breed them... How much money do I have? Hey, I want a little bit more cash, so we're just going to do that one more. Ugh, I can't be bothered doing it again, though. Thank you. So, ahead. so little of me can be bothered doing it again. But we should, they're worth a lot of money. So we're going to breed them one more time. And get ourselves another forehead. And that one we're gonna sell. Still open. This well, one we're keeping around the for the um, so for the bomboon, and then we'll sell it afterwards. I'm not gonna do the, I'm not gonna do the forehead breeding yet. That, that can be uh, down the line. You have to do the bloody game again, however, because <laughs> the, the whole, part of the point is to get a uh, a wild card one, which is obviously worth more. Uh, raise ants. I don't really need you guys anymore. I guess you can stick around, it won't be a big deal. Oh hey, Maka Raccoon Visitor. First time. Obviously we've got one already, but we got that from the uh, the sour. 
What are you here for, buddy? What do you need, actually? Three serpents. Well, that's not happening. <laughs> you leave my serpents alone. I don't have any serpents. You know what I mean. Having a whale of a time. Alright, here we go again. At least... Oh, no, I clicked. I didn't mean to click. Because, obviously, I wanted to grab this. Alright, alternate route. <laughs> this is going to make this one up as we go along. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> it, was a, it wasn't a good start. I, I did not mean to go. I wanted to wait for it to run past, you know? I like that one. That text, bu that text bubble literally moved further south just to get in my way. <laughs> I appreciate the dedication to being a pain in the ass. It's, it's weird this one, because it's, it's tough, it really is, but you have quite a lot of time. Fuck! I thought, I didn't, thought this was the run. You do have quite a decent chunk of time to pull it off. You just have to, I guess, try not to panic. I get scammed by the game, quite frankly. Quite frankly, my... Shut up. We're doing this for money, okay? No! No! It's so far away! Alright, alternate route again. Huh. It just it wasn't letting me through. Usually you can just run right through it. This time I'm like, nah. <laughs> nah, it's not happening again. They're, um... I don't know about the messages you're sending, you know? About how they need these material goods and what I'm doing isn't good enough. You know, love isn't good enough. They need more than that. I don't know what message that sends to, to children. Okay, it's going well. I'm not totally sure where the other one is, if I'm honest. <laughs> it was behind the goddamn text box is where it was. It literally behind the text box. I couldn't see it. I need to have words with whoever came up with this system, because it is one of the stupidest game design decisions I've ever seen. And I cannot believe someone how did it get past testing? Also, these these sleeping ones are useless. They don't, they don't wake up. <laughs> I just sprinted full on past that one on the way out, and it just didn't care. Here we go. Here we go. Right, at least I know where it is this time. So you need to go in. Get it. Go back again. Down here. Get out of the way, text box. Man! Seriously! <laughs> Absolute madness that they think that's okay. It's literally right over all the bombs and the, the place I need to get to. My mind is boggled right now. <laughs> I'll stop complaining, I promise. <laughs> Do I promise? No, it's stupid. <laughs> they deserve to have complaints. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Right. Um, let me think about this. We're gonna breed all the pigs. No, I think we breed the Swananas first. Get the wild card. Sell them all off. Except one. And then we use that to breed the pigs. Sell them all off except one. Breed the pigs. Turn all of them except one into hoggers. Then breed... Yeah, okay, that's the idea. Swanana, you are first on the list, my friend. Evening, I'm just about to have some supper. But the chink of chocolate coins yeah, so, might take the edge off There it is. There it is. There's the mystery home. Do I have to have bred them together? I wonder if I don't have to have... Hmm. I feel like I do. But I'm going to buy this just in case, because I'm, I'm just curious. This is this is the, the mystery home is the one that I'm on about. Is the... Uh, Oh, this is going to be awkward, actually. I need to get rid of this fountain, I think. Um, the mystery home is the one I'm on about. The one where you make the, the flying pigs. I just don't know if you have to have bred them. Because I don't really have any interest right now, at least, of breeding bananas. It's not high on my list, you know? So if I can avoid doing that, I'd be happy. Alright, I'm not looking at the egg straight away. It's gonna take a billion years. <laughs> you're sticking around, because you're... Right, I wanna see how much you sell for. 37,000! 
This is why we kept it. <laughs> because that one egg, this one here, which I suppose we can sell this one, actually. Eh, you were the first. I'll let you stick around. I mean, these all go for nothing. God, you're huge! You're a big boy. <laughs> there you go. I mean, I can sell the raisins as well. Just don't have any particular desire to. I just want to get rid of the house. Um, because I want to put the pig house here. At some point. Not soon. We don't seem to be running into garden size problems as much as we were anymore. Maybe it's because I don't have any trees? Anyways, back to work. Oh no, that's me, our uh, rock knit. Very cool. <laughs> Okay, two new species today already. That's pretty sweet. Three! We got the Swinana today. Three new species in one video. At this rate, it would only take 33 videos to get all the species. Fantastic. Give it a minute. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything else at this point, like, attached to my level, per se. Maybe level 50. Oh, no. Cracka laka laka laka. I'm gonna miss you, Raisins. You can stick around for a while. I'm kinda hoping that another Rocknid pops up and eats a couple more of them, and then I've got a breeding power already without having to do any work. Uh, Willy is, uh, <laughs> he's getting busy. <laughs> Early hours of the morning, obnoxiously loud, he's a builder. And I brought a drink today. I don't have to leave midway through. <laughs> Although I always bring a drink, I just happen to eat, drink the drink, but... Either way. Aww. I'm gonna trust you, Egg. I'm gonna leave you just for a second, okay? So I can come back over here and look at the building whilst I watch the Egg. There we go. I've really got to start paying attention to the where I put these things. I keep saying it and I keep not doing it. It's really annoying me. <laughs> it's completely my fault, obviously. It should obviously be facing the other way. Alright, you're a Coco Dad. I need a Bamboon is what I need. Get this sorted. Actually, we should get the sweets now, just in case anyone... I think this is why my pinatas are ending up sick. They're just finding rogue sweets lying around. That one's going to be very difficult to get rid of, so we're not going to. Hopefully one of the builders pops out and thinks, you know... Oh, God. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, I'll get to you in a second. It'd be good to start getting rid of some of these. Wait, what do you need again? Is it Cluckles? No, oh, Hoggers. Yeah, it'd be good to clear these out. Um, just so I don't have to deal with them all the time, you know? I think he was leaving. <laughs> like, these two in particular. The Rhino doesn't turn up much. The Bomb Boom... So the Bomb Boom we've got an answer for. This one we're about to work out. So we're going to get two of them pretty soon, I would say. No! You dummy... Wait, no, it's okay. Is that okay? I'm watching you forehead. Right, Syrupants! Finger snaps, even. You've had your fun in the sun. Time for you lot to go. Gonna grab ourselves Willy. Oh, I'm gonna grab our Willy. <laughs> One more time. And we're looking for the Piggy Piggy home. Because even though we might not need to breed the pigs. Although I suspect we do. But even if we don't need to beat the pigs, then, um... I'll get uh... I need to breed them to make hoggets anyway, so... I'm gonna get rid of the, um... Snow. we past our snow days. We'll do it again at the end. It's fine. We're not making our fancy ultimate garden until the very end. I want to make sure I've got all the sours and stuff like that. I don't want to have um, 
showers popping up, ruining things. No, thank you. Okay, so, <clears throat> now that we've got the fancy house, where is my pig? Oh, look, it's romance ready. Ah! Yeah, I was right. Okay, cool. Because I don't have a pig house. Okay, so where's my swanana? Yum, yum, yum! Oh, okay, that's a wild one. Where's my one? Swanana! Where the hell have you gone? Swanana? Okay, so, see, Swan, Swan, Swanana, we have a look here, hasn't, I need to think about this. So do I have to meet those requirements regardless? Did I meet those requirements for the pig? Let me check. Not the house, but like, do I have to meet the general romance requirements? You know what I mean? No, because I haven't done that for this. I think I just need to give the Swanana a uh, romance suite like we did for the pig. Or joyous suite, right? Yeah, let's try, let's try it. That'd be cool. Buy or sell. It doesn't matter. I can turn it all into profit. You're buying, huh? Nope. There's... I think? Because I, I definitely haven't given pea soup to the raspberry, so... Promising. Oh, hey, here we go. Very cool. Sorry, Walrus, you're very cute, but the pig has somewhere to be. It's gonna have sex with a swan. Don't ask how this works, okay? Nobody knows, nobody wants to know. It just does. The weirdest relationship in human history, in Pinata history, is <laughs> about to begin. This is sick. <laughs> Science has gone too far. It's a swan. Okay, I need two. Why do I need two? Wait, what? Look at that. Wait, what? Look at that one in the middle. In the neck. That is madness. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh! That's how the sneak ones work. Oh my god, I didn't realise. I think... Wait, I need to test this out. Because I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm right or not. Let's go find out. Oh my god! I had no idea! <laughs> I thought you still could have walked through them. And what would happen is if you... Um... If you ran past them, they'd turn, you know, like the blue ones, they'd activate and they'd chase you down, basically. I thought that's how it worked. You can walk through them. I wonder if I've been making... <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> I wonder if I've been making my life more difficult than it has to be. By how I've been doing this. It's an interesting thought. Picky house. So you see how this house, the Swanana house, looks like this back bit. And then this has the, it's got like elements of the pig one at the front. Like, this is the pig one, and you can see the green bit there. And then usually, the Swanana one has a Swanana on the top, this one's got... I think it's called a pixie, as in a... a pixie. A pixie stick. I think a pixie stick is like a... it's like a... a tube of sugar, isn't it? So it's a pixie stick, and a pig. And a pixie as well, like a flying creature. And there it is, looking beautiful on top. So that's what we're gonna make, this thing here. <laughs> it's beautiful. Go make your terrifying babies. Um... I'm trying to think about whether I want to um, go for the wild card version of this already. You're so concerned about whether or not you could, you never stop to think about whether you should. This is the precise situation that Ian Malcolm was talking about, I'm telling you. Literally this precise situation. So the, the concerns I have about doing this repeatedly is simply that it doesn't really lead anywhere. It doesn't, it doesn't take us towards a new species at all, you know? 
Um, there's no benefit in that regard. Um, I need to think about that. But I've already built the house. But that isn't a big deal. And then we may as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if I can get Gretchen to go pick some up. They're going to be expensive though, aren't they? <sighs> yeah. Okay. No, we'll do it. We'll do it. Screw it. So, our breeding plan right now is wild card with the pixie and get the variants. Interesting. It can't eat a romance sweet. Maybe it can, it just doesn't want to right now. I wonder if it can. No. I wonder if I have to just buy two more joy sweets. Let's give it a go. It's, it's a very interesting situation. It's different, right? It's not, it's not how it would usually function, so you'd assume there's a different mechanic at play. And usually once you romance right. once, you can buy a romance suite. But then what you could probably do is romance these two, and then you could romance your swans with your swans and stuff like that in the future. Which obviously you shouldn't be able to do, that would make things too easy. So maybe that's what's going on. Let me check. Maybe it's just not hungry. Raise on. <sighs> oh, big boy. Big boy. So you need a parmadillo. So it's... What is the cocoa dial? I can't remember. It's hogger for the wolf. It's parmadillo for the rhino. It's syrupant fight for the bamboo. I can't remember the other one. Off the top of my head. Yeah, see, the pig's ready to go again. So at least the romance aspect should be pretty easy. There we go. Ready to go at it again. Whatever it is that you two are doing. It's a fun mechanic, though. I'm glad I didn't have to Google it. <laughs> like, I actually, this is one. Again, I'm not sure this is one. I think this is one you probably could figure out, but, um. It's nice that I didn't have to Google it. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna breed these two until we're done with the pixies. We're gonna get all the variants. Uh, we're not gonna breed the swans afterwards because I just don't care about breeding the swans right now. I don't think it leads to anything, and everything should be geared towards getting new species, in a way. This isn't, but. This is a very high level pinata, and it's cool, so I think it's worth doing. And we've kind of got the house already, and we've kind of already started, so... This is a hell of a course! Oh look, it's different! Oh no, that's even worse! <laughs> I don't want it to be different, although this one looks easier, it must be said. Go Piggy, go! Maybe it depends who you click on, as to who is the active romancer? That's an interesting idea. Because last time I controlled the swan, this time I controlled the pig. Who did I click on this time? I have no idea. We'll have to test that out. Anyway, so we're going to breed these until they're done. Then we're going to breed the pigs until we get to a wild card for the pig. Then we're going to convert all the pigs into hoggets. Except the wild card, which we'll send off as per usual. Um, and then we'll breed the hoggets once to get a wild card hoggett. Who we'll send away. And we'll hopefully feed the hoggets to get the wolf. Sounds like a plan. Okay, good stuff. Very productive episode. If a Bon Boon appears, we're ready for that. Why is this playing again? Is it different? It doesn't look different. It must be because, again, we had like a different active romancer. What a weird world we live in. New baby! Here you go, folks. <laughs> Your gardening is oh, level 50. Uh -huh. Nothing happened. Look at it! Isn't that cool? It's more pig than... Sw Mother, please! Aw, poor baby. It's kind of lopsided. It, like, it, it tilts its head permanently to the left. Um, 
I, I genuinely think the idea... See, we got a different romance reward as well. We got the this pixie one last time, the Swanana. I genuinely think the idea might be to... Um, to show it as genetically deformed, because we're crossbreeding and making hybrids. It's basically Jurassic yeah, World. <laughs> okay, well, so it's come out all wrong, you know? Huh? Which is kind of mad when you think about it. I do like that we can do this. We don't have to... Oh, we do have to breed them now. At some point, I think we're going to have to breed the pixies themselves. Because we're going to want the pixie romance rewards, and we just, we're just we not getting those right now. Or are we? Let me check. Let me check. I have no idea if we are. I don't think we will be, so we will have to breed those. Oh, that's going to be a pain. It's our highest level piñata. So there's no world where it doesn't require something stupid. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Here we go. In many moons when I get to the end. Quackberry as well turns into um, a juicy goose or something. A donut can turn into something else. Turns into a moose, I think. Pixie. Oh, it's lovely. It's actually not my highest. You're glad jelly. Well, it is my highest. I suppose. Oh, well, along with four heads. Oh, come on! Oh, no, 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 seven. Pixie. Bullrush. Eh, it's not that bad. Uh, it depends what that fourth one is. <laughs> that fourth one could be the one to throw me off. Hmm. Okay. Not, it's not too bad yet. We shall see. But I do think it makes more sense to keep breeding the Raspberry and the Swanana in the meantime. Like, we can't breed our pixies for a while yet. One of them's in an egg, and the other's a baby. That is not a good coupling, you know? <laughs> so, if we breed these a few times, then we can make it so we only have to breed the pixies once as well to get our Master Romancer reward. Mmm, yeah. The Swananas are hypersexualized. I'm not even kidding. Hypersexualized. Like, that might be disturbing to say, but it's a fact of life. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Number three. So. I clicked on the Swanana, and I'm controlling the Swanana, so I wonder if that's what it is. I think, by the looks of it, at the very least, I prefer. The, uh, the pig one. The pig one looks easier to me. None of them look that bad, actually. It must be said. That was very, very sneaky. Oh. I know. What's with the scream? <laughs> I'm coming, piggy friend. I'm a coming. What's that red one on the left? It looks like the yellow one. So you have sneak pass, but it's like proper... It's like a burnt orange. It's intense. That's three pixies already. If I breed these two one more time, two more times, and then I can sell... Well, I don't have to sell them, but... And then we can stop. Yeah, we'll get there, folks. We'll get there. Quite excited about this. It's cocooning. So where are these bloody bomboons at? It's always the case that as soon as I'm ready to do something, <laughs> the game is determined to not let me do that thing. Like, I've seen several wolves, I've seen rhinos, I've seen cocodiles. Yet to see anything else. Also, what? I don't know, we've already figured out raspberry. Four heads. Four heads is the only piñata I have, I think, that I don't know what the, um, the name means. Is, is it like a sour head or something? Is that a thing? Maybe. I think a sour head might be a thing. What are you? I don't know. This is one of those times where I actually do need assistance from the comments. Now, I am literally two weeks ahead. <laughs> but in two weeks' time, when you guys see this, I'll be able to find out, which will be nice. Look at the size of it! The pixie's huge! Oh, no, no, there we go. <laughs> that makes more sense. Look at the snout. It's like jutting off to the side. If it, it's genuinely got... Some genetic deformity going on. Ah. Kind of feel for it. Hello, Cinnamonkey. It's not for you. Bring your bomboon friend. I assume they're all friends. Uh, 
Oh, we're in a nice little spot right now. Feel. Oh, I need uh, bulrushes. Go talk to Costi. Here to buy or sell? It doesn't matter. I can turn it all into profit. All right. Do, 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 do. Thanks for that. Get out of the bloody way. Oh, I can't seem to plant it there. Must be because of the, uh, how close it is to the edge of the map. Mildly annoying. I'll do. So we need four because obviously we need two per, um, hog, uh, raspberry. Wait, it's not raspberries. Oh, pixies. We do have to breed the pixies as well. And we'll see what else we need. I don't know if we've got the, the garden value. We should do, right? I mean, the foreheads are worth, like... Yeah, the garden... The, the foreheads are worth 30k, so... You know, how can the garden not be worth 10,000 coins? I've got, like, 60,000 worth right here in two pinatas. So that's not really a That's not really a concern. More sweeties! Good morning! Can I interest you in something seedy? Bind these two at a time because like because they're joy sweets, the general joy sweets that just make pinatas happy. Um, I think other pinatas will eat them. I gotta tell you, they're much happier to eat the joy sweets than they ever are to eat the romance sweets. It's proving um, it's proving very easy to romance these two. It's quite nice. Wait, no, click. Okay, that's how I. I don't know. I kind of clicked on the swan first. Oh, I need to move that egg out of the way. But then, it can't, I don't know if it went off, so I clicked on the raspberry and then I clicked on the swanana, so... Hopefully? This should be pig mode? Yeah, it is. I only need... One, two, three, four... Yum, yum, yum! Yum, yum, yum! Oopsie daisy. Is this one easier? Maybe. It's hard to tell. Oh no. Pixie is such a weirdo. <laughs> Leafoss is over here. Actually, Leafoss is just safe here hanging out with uh, Wally. See ya, Pixie. I don't have any other wild cards I need to send. Oh, bamboon, bamboon. Uh, I need a foreheads. Forehead, forehead. You leave my walrus alone. Tell you what, though, folks, we've done a lot in this video, <laughs> and this is going to be pretty cool. So I don't want to, I don't want to do that as well. So let's 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 get our list together. Have a little look. Right. So we don't need the twinkle snaps anymore. Don't need that anymore. We need to do this. Don't need that anymore. So we're gonna breed pixies to a wild card. Get variants. Um, breed. What are they called again? Raspberries. Till wild card. Get variants. Turn rashes eh. into hoggets. Breed hoggets. <laughs> Till. It should be till like that, shouldn't it, really? Tilling is something different entirely. Till. It doesn't really matter, <laughs> admittedly, but still. Breed Hoggart, still. Wild card. Get variants. Use Hoggart to get Wolf. See how it all ties together and leads to so many more pinatas? That's what I want to do with the breeding program. And it is, at this point, just a breeding program. <laughs> Uh, we don't need a rocknids anymore, that can go off. I still want the buzzinch. It's on the list. But it's kind of like sub-list. It's not really... This is this is our priority for the next video, all this stuff over here. And we're probably doing that one already, so... Okay, good stuff. Thank you very much for joining me. I will see you lovely folks in that next video. Hope you've enjoyed our uh, terrible genetic meddling, I suppose. 
I'll see you lovely folks next time. Cheers for us as always. Bye-bye.